let's walk through whether you're in B2B, whether you're in B2C, it does not matter. Um, this is actually really, really simple. Um, I cannot emphasize this enough. You could probably do this in a week. Go back, leave Budapest. And in a week, you'll be able to acquire customers at a much lower cost. It doesn't matter which ads or new traffic source you find. There is no golden goose. I'm telling you all, there is no golden goose. You will not find it out there. Um, you'll acquire customers at a cheaper rate. They'll stick with you longer. This affects every part of your business by far. Um, so I call it emotional conversion marketing based around, again, building an actual, tangible relationship with your audience in your follow-up. Because after an ad hits, if you're generating leads, after the ad, unless you're doing really good retargeting, there is no other way for you to communicate and build a relationship with them. They're lost, they're done. Unless they're seeing one of your social media channels or some other piece of content, you're screwed afterwards. Unless you follow up, which I know for a fact I could, I could go one by one or ask the whole entire place here. The amount of people that have emailed their list this week is probably six. It's not very high. Um, so be walking through, number one, how to actually invoke this emotion in your follow-up, which is where they're going to be acquired a lot more easier and they're going to retain for a lot. Um, so again, a lot of you are doing what works. It, it does work. It is profitable, but you're missing the third element. So again, you have a really good offer. Um, you have, you've researched your marketplace, you've researched your audience and all these other different things. And you present yourself through your sales process as a professional or as someone who can help your customers get what they want. But what you're missing is actually relating to them and causing an actual feeling in them, which good advertising, good lead generation. When you do that and you do that right, especially in the long term, and you can follow up with that as well. That's when, again, all the, the magic happens. So the, the main things that we'll be walking through is number one, enticing content, enticing ads, and enticing follow-up. This is what all of you do already. Hey, I'm the best. I'm really good. I'm a really incredible speaker who speaks like that dude. And you, you, you already have that in all of your advertising. That's what everyone here has done on all these backdrops and all these amazing vendors and everyone here is all focused on, Hey, I'm the best. I'm really good. I got the best stuff. Here's this amazing benefit. Here's this whatever. So when, especially in lead generation, especially in email marketing and follow up, you're, like I said earlier, again, you're jumping straight to just buy from me. You've built no relationship. You've given them nothing really to relate to you and your brand and what you have to offer. Yes, you have something for people who are ready to immediately buy, but the vast majority of the time, most people seeing almost all of your content, your ads, your follow-up are not ready to buy right away. That's why the average person takes seven to 10 times to be followed up with in order for them to convert, which is where entertaining and educating content, ads, and following up are much more, what the, actually the vast majority of your follow-up and what you're doing in your business should be focusing on. Because you have to bring someone from knowing nothing about your brand and your business <laughs> to buying. And if you skip the first two steps of drawing their attention in and then actually nurturing that attention and building an actual relationship with them, the vast majority of people aren't going to ever work with you. That's why most people's ads and most people's lead generation doesn't actually convert because you're so focused on buy now, buy now, you're only getting a small, small portion of your audience to actually work with you, which is why, again, I advise and we'll walk through exactly what to do with entertaining and educating follow-up ads in lead generation. So this is just in kind of the average process most people bring their audience through. On average, you have some kind of ad, you have a content piece, you have a blog they just read, you name it, and then you direct them to a sales page or a page to book a call, whatever your call to action is. And then if you follow up, which most people don't, but if you follow up, you keep sending them back to that same page over and over and all over again. And what we found to convert a lot higher is not to do that. Because if I was to ask any one of you, if I saw the same pitch for the 35th, for the 800th, for the thousandth time, am I more likely to buy? No, it's the same offer. I've seen that pitch 800 times. It doesn't differentiate. You have not given me any additional information to build trust you in a different way. So instead of following this process, which is what 
probably almost literally every single other person here does is go to the same offer, go to the same offer, go to the same offer, and we follow up. <laughs> is we need to, I'll go over this quickly since it's popped up. Um, the reason why this also doesn't work is because once someone's seen your offer for the 35th, 100th time in the same perspective without you relating to them in a different way, <laughs> they actually drop off. So there's a big, big thing in the industry of email deliverability. People go, why does email deliverability always seem to go down? No one can keep email deliverability high. No one can make sure it converts for a long term. It doesn't work. No one makes email really work that well. And it's because you keep saying to the same sales page the whole time. You haven't given them any other perspective. You haven't still done the two other elements of entertaining them. Um, we'll go to the other one too. You haven't done either of those elements, which means they're never going to be ready to buy because you haven't nurtured them. You haven't done anything that's actually going to differentiate your offer from their own or from other offers in the marketplace, or from just any information that's going to relate to that. So what we do instead, again, this is really simple, but it converts exceptional highly. It doesn't matter if you're B2B, if you're B2C, regardless, this does exceptionally well. What you do is simply in your follow-up sequence of any kind, again, you could be an agency, you could be a CPA network, you could be, uh, it doesn't matter, is you build custom sales pages with their own VSL, with their own content that focuses on one of these other E's, not just being enticing. I have a great deal. I have a great offer. I have a great guarantee, et cetera, because you're missing out on those two other elements, which is what people actually relate to because all of your marketing, all of your follow-up is actually relating one-on-one with people, whether it's B2B, B2C, it doesn't matter. So we use these other two E's, educating and entertaining to build custom sales pages in our follow-up that we direct them to that focus entirely in drawing out one of those main emotions. Now you could focus on a, a certain pleasure point or a certain pain point in your audience. Doesn't matter what you choose. You know, you want to go towards your customer avatar, what they are specifically, and cover their objections. You can make an entire sales page just covering objections with a 10-minute VSL just covering objections. And that would be, I'll go through the actual sequence to actually build out. But if you do that, and imagine like right now, one of these businesses here, you saw one of their ads, you went through the sales process, you went through the one I walked you through before, went to the same sales page 800 times. It's a horrible experience. You don't care about what they're offering you. Versus the first three videos bring you through that same process. So I'm not saying get rid of your process as it is. But after the first three emails, the next three emails are, here's why we actually obsess over our customers. Here's why we love our customers so much. Here's how much we care and the type of results we get them, you just focus on that type of benefit. And the next three emails after that, you focus entirely on another element of, hey, here's why we built this company. And maybe it's a funny skit. Maybe it's entertaining. Maybe maybe it's using a lot of storytelling. I'll walk through kind of more of this, but the reason why this works so well, again, it's really simple. There's not a lot to it. Is because again, your audience is full of people with emotions. People who want to work with someone or a business who's actually trustworthy. And if you cannot be that in their eyes, they're going to go to a competitor who actually shows they care about. So, what you should do right now when you leave, and I guarantee you will see much higher conversions, all of your ad costs will go down. Uh, Your email deliverability permanently will perform exceptionally well. Um, your open rates, click the rates will always be maintained. And if you do with a few different sequences, a walk through your customer retention will increase again. It'll affect every single metric is built three to five sales pages using these other elements. And again, it also applies to ads and other content channels because again, across your entire business, people don't want an offer. People don't want to be sold to none of you here want to be sold to. You want your problem actually solved. And if people can do that in an entertaining, in an educating and nurturing, genuine way, like you, you feel how someone actually gives to shit about you, that's when they buy. And if you can do that at scale, and you can do it in your follow-up and your ads and your content and everything else, it performs exceptionally well. So I actually advise you focus on these first two E's mainly. Because again, the vast majority of people need to be you need to first, it's the basic of all marketing is you need to first draw in people's attention 
And once you grab their attention, you need to nurture that attention enough to build like known trust. And then you present them an offer. So again, entertaining sales pages, uh, emails, anything else you can work on in your ads. Again, you can do this in advertising. It works exceptionally well. Um, ClickFunnels does some really creative stuff, and so does the Harmon Brothers. So music videos, skits, some kind of humor, something that really draws people's attention is, is human, because we're all human, and that's what we relate to, human stuff. Take a look at the best advertising, Squatty Potty, Dr. Squatch, any other really big brand that's ever done exceptional that you think about. Anything that you think about any ad, like think about the Super Bowl, any ad that you've ever gone, oh my God, you tell, oh, I remember the Super Bowl's coming around. That one ad with the frogs, Budweiser, or any other variation that you remember, you remember it because most likely it drew an emotion. And that effect is usually, especially in marketing, turns into customers. So after focusing on entertaining, you need to do educating, follow-up, which is again, walkthroughs, how-tos, trainings, guides, resources, nurture, nurture, nurture in your follow-up, in your email marketing. And everything you're doing as much as possible and you sell last, it converts way higher because again, people sense you care. People sense bullshit always. Um, and the more you can, again, nurture them, focus on first drawing in that attention, nurturing that attention, and then offer them and tell them about how great you are afterwards with, we have this great deal with, we have this amazing offer with bonuses and everything else you offer your audience. That is what converts a lot higher. So. What you're going to do is you need to make a 21 day automated email sequence. Very simple. Whether you do it yourself or you have someone on your team who can do this, this is number one. Uh, every three days, you change the focus or perspective you are using. So the first three days, do what you normally do. You have your offer, you have here's who we are, here's what we do, here's how it works, your normal sales pages, your normal pages for booking a call, et cetera. Send them through that process. And then every three days, you switch to a different emotion you want to trigger. So whether it's trusting your company more, if that's a big factor, you know, you have to think about what your own audience wants to see mostly. They trust you. Is it pricing? Is it pricing? How do you negotiate pricing for a three-day cycle? You know, think about what your audience wants. So every three days, focus on a different emotion. Focus on covering an objection. Focus on one of these things you want them to feel deep. And if you can do that after going through a different perspective, a different perspective, a different perspective, again, not seeing the same thing for the 85th time, people are way more likely to actually buy and purchase for you especially in the long run because you're not just like every single other company doing the exact same thing. That's what everyone does here is here's the same sales page for the 90th time. It, do- it doesn't work. It's why most advertising and lead generation seems so hard It's because you aren't, again, building an actual relationship. You're not doing what marketing was supposed to do. You're you're skipping straight to selling. Um, And again, this also works because different people in your audience and in your email list and people who are seeing your ads and any other type of content you have relate to different types of information. Like this dude here, he might like more storytelling. I don't know. Someone over there might like more social proof. So you have to hit each of these different perspectives that people relate to in your audience and in your follow-up because you need to trigger what people actually relate to in your audience. And that's why most leads and most traffic doesn't convert and why most people don't buy is because you're only hitting a small portion of your audience and they're never going to buy because you keep, like I said, going through the motions of the same sales page for the 85th time. Um, so now as well, I want to talk about how often the email Because one, other than the fact that most people don't do it, it's because they're scared. Like, I'm going to spam my list. You are never going to spam your list. You are never going to spam your audience unless you are following up with the same bullshit like I've walked through that you've been doing for the past how many months or years. You keep sending to the same sales page. If I see the same sales page or VSL or opt-in page for the 90th time, yeah, I'm going to opt out. Like, duh, that that's, why would I keep wanting to work with you? I never would. Um, so you're never going to spam your audience. Number two, especially right now, you are dealing with so much competition as more and more and more and more businesses go online. You're dealing with global stuff that I won't mention that's absolutely wicked crazy. And you're dealing with people's personal lives. 
So there is so much competing against you. If you don't follow up more often, just following up more often, by the way, alone is going to be a humongous difference. So don't be afraid to spam people. Just follow up more often. And I would say if you want to do it well, one time a day, if not once a week, bare minimum, if you're not doing that, you're wasting your ad spend. You're wasting all the lead generation you're paying for because you're not nurturing people and they're not going to buy ever because you're not actually caring about them because they need communication. Um, so yeah, just email, 